Guys, what's going on today on La La Farm? We got a couple, uh, I'm Rick by the way. I'm usually the one running the camera. Um, I'm the little but big Rick. So today we got a couple new characters on the farm. We got uh, Nina and Papa, the other Papa. They are visiting from upstate New York. We also got this little girl down here. Meet Dixie. Hi, Dixie girl. Hi, Dixie girl. Hi, girl. She's a blue healer border collie mix that I got the other day. She's a puppy. Taking care of her for right now. I'm sure she'll work out, but it's going to take a lot more work than big boy right here. So, anyway, this is what we got going on today. Hard at work, Pops. So you're hard at work. We got Nina. Pop grew up on a uh, on a milk farm, dairy farm, upstate New York. Let me get it out of the way. But uh grew up on a dairy farm upstate New York and um, so they're down here visiting being snowbirds for a couple months and uh, so yeah we're just working today Lala's around here somewhere I don't know where she's at Bruno boy hey Bruno a little bit of Einar a little bit of Yarl Nine Chewy that's Vets that's Vets girl there she is. Hey, Betsy girl. Hey, Betsy, Betsy girl. And the Bruno. And the Betsy. And the Bruno getting tied up in the electrical wire that doesn't work. So I got here this morning. Started looking at these chickens. Chickens are getting big. Big, 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 big. hands so we're trying to fill in some divots so this over here I don't know if he's already told you guys or not but this over here is actually gonna be Lala's Billy Buck pasture and uh, what we found out is by keeping our ducks um, that close to our does which is literally just on the opposite side of the fence and by keeping them there all year long, what we've ran into is uh, our books are, they're not the biggest, they're gonna get a lot bigger, um, but we've ran into an issue where they're actually breaking through uh, the red brand fencing, which is really top notch fencing. So what we're gonna end up doing, we're actually gonna completely separate them. Um, we're gonna have billies on one side and we're gonna have does on the other. So all of this that you're looking at, where you know it's about this height, not necessarily the tree line, but all this right here, where it's this height, all this brush, we're actually gonna turn that into a billy pasture or buck pasture, whatever. Um, so yeah. We're in the process of thinking up a way to kind of get these guys um, some shelter and uh, to escape the escape the heat of Florida.
you doing right here? I'm making a video that won't like hurt. You're making sticks that won't hurt? What are you building or a shelter for? So, um, walk around here. Oh, okay. That makes sense. She's kind of small. She's kind of small. And she hardly weighs anything. So what? And she also hardly weighs anything. She hardly weighs anything? Let's go puppy, yo. What she got? Some big, nice, juicy grubs I just found when we were cleaning out the goat pen. So, <laughs> these are like prime treats for the... For the chickens if we can get them to come out yeah juicy juicy so these are some nice juicy grubs now i just gotta get one of the chickens over there yeah that's fine okay. hey. 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 Yeah, what are we doing today, Dad? Well, we're cleaning out the barn, so this is the last step, which is which is uh, putting out the lime, and this will help decrease some of the smell in the barn from when they come up here and urinate around the barn. Just kind of help keep it clean and sanitized up here. Mm -hmm. um, it's just simple agricultural lime, which you would put in the barn for for uh, uh, for keeping the livestock smell down. So it doesn't um, hurt the doesn't hurt the goats. No, this is the same stuff that you would put in uh, in the soil to uh, adjust your pH level in a in a uh, in a garden. Okay. Just sprinkle a layer down. Uh, we got a lot of the video this morning from us cleaning out the us cleaning out the pens on both sides of the barn. So this is the last step. Just just the dusting out here. Thing of seven bags. How many? Seven bags. Seven bags for all the stalls or all the. Seven bags for all the way around. Then we did the chicken coop, so I'll do one more bag up in the front chicken coop and call it a day. Which is what you should have done to begin with. baby any time now and so I'm putting some hay down to make it a little bit more comfortable and more warm. Um, you guys haven't seen the Facebook post. What do we got going on on Facebook? On? <laughs> fancy is uh -huh. due to go anytime and we've got a fancy challenge going on. If you guess the date and how many and the genders of each and you're correct you get a uh, surprise. So. That could be you. Go follow us on the Facebook page or like us, whatever. Follow us and find that fancy post. Find the fancy contest post. Go ahead and pick yourself a day. Let's do any day now. You need to go ahead and pick out the day. You need to pick out how many she's going to have. One, two, three. Hopefully she doesn't have three. First time mama. Hope we're hopefully, hoping, hoping for two. And... Uh, we're hoping for two girls, hoping for two dolings. But uh, anyway, yeah, go on Facebook, like the page, follow us, and find the fancy post, and put in your bet. You could be the winner. Right, Mom? Yep. You get a la la surprise. What? Got him. What is that? Baba. Is it bok bok? Yeah. What color is it? Baba. Okay, white. White. Black. Black. Um. <laughs> what is it? Oh. What is this? A bok bok. Yeah, it's a bok bok. This one of the babies, isn't it? Baby. It's one of the baby bok boks. <laughs> <laughs>